We adopted Dustin. We got him at three months old. When he was about 18 months old, I took him out of the high chair and stood him on the floor and he kept going sideways and couldn't keep his balance. It was sort of unusual. Things started getting worse as he started getting older. He started having more and more of the jerking like he does. And I've worked 23 years trying to do whatever we have to do to hopefully make Dustin's life as happy as he can be. The approach that we took in Dustin's case of taking advantage of newest technologies in genetics were very successful. How are you doing? Good. Previously, when we would do single gene testing, when we would try to understand if a particular gene was maybe causing a patient's disease or, or helping us understand why they're not responding to a treatment, we would have to go look at a single gene at a time. By using what's called whole exome sequencing, we're able to look at the entire genetic sequence of a patient. And instead of having to hope that we're focused in the right area, we can look in all areas at the same time and find the answer rather than guessing where the answer might be. So whole exome sequencing allowed us to make the diagnosis precisely and quickly. Dustin suffers from condition called episodic ataxia. This is a very rare condition. Without whole exome sequencing, we would not be able to derive so easily to the diagnosis. So we're very excited that we can provide this to our patients and really be viewed as one of the leaders in moving from the promise of genomic medicine to the actual practice of genomic medicine and make a difference in people's lives. I have seen many benefits from the medication that Dustin is taking at the present time. Now he's able to function, he's able to play basketball, he's able to go to school, different men. Thank you, Dustin. It was a pleasure you. to see you. This has been a miracle to us. We've never had a diagnosis before, and we were just really excited whenever it was finally found and found that it was a genetic problem. So we're going from there, and we're going to take the medications and do whatever we have to do to hopefully make Dustin's life as happy as he can be.